what we do is toss it into a structure and then now we have control over where it goes. This is a throwbot, a remote control surveillance device and the newest tool at the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. It's pretty durable. You're supposed to be able to throw this through a window. It can be dropped from up to three stories high or thrown as far as 42 yards. While it has no legs, it's designed to go places so deputies or canines don't have to. A throw bot could be used for any application where a suspect barricades himself. It looks like a toy, but in certain situations, this little recon robot could mean the difference between life or death. Unless we go in, we can't see what's happening. So we can send this throw bot in there rather than putting a deputy in there to see if the subjects in there and arm. In a dangerous situation, the throwbot is the eyes and ears for the officers, recording audio and video behind walls and closed doors. The more you know before you make entry is always makes the deputy safer. Um, if we don't know that a subject is in their arm, we could be potentially walking into a gunfight. That's exactly what happened this past weekend when two Monroe County deputies responded to a domestic situation that escalated. Now one is dead. This is what Columbia County officers are hoping to avoid. This throwbot means even more when it comes to officer safety because of where it comes from. It's a donation from the J.D. Paul Memorial Foundation. And even with a $4,500 price tag, what it could do for frontline deputies is priceless. Robot deployed. We'll be checking the second floor.